The Safari Land Group presents ABA Body Armor Male Sizing Instructions. In this video, you will find step by step instructions on how to size ABA male body armor. Please have your sizing instructions available as we will be referring to them throughout this video. Prior to sizing, make sure that the officer is wearing their normal duty uniform. You will need the following tools to measure the officer accurately a soft measuring tape an armless chair, and the appropriate sizing forms. While sizing, remember that communication is key. Speak with the officer to determine their main concerns. Take all measurements to the nearest full inch. Step 1. Record the officer's information, including height and weight, on the appropriate sizing form. Step 2. Full chest measurement. Using a soft measuring tape, measure the full chest to determine the front and back panel size. With their hands down, make sure the officer's chest is relaxed and measure around the back, directly under the armpits, with the tape meeting across the center of their chest. Take the chest circumference and use the sizing chart on your sizing instructions to determine their front and back panel size. For example, a chest measurement of 48 inches would be a 1 or 1x large size. All subsequent measurements for this officer should be referenced in the one column as highlighted. Record this code on the sizing form in the appropriate box on the bottom of the page. Step 3. Total Girth Measurement Measure the waist at its widest circumference between the chest and the top of the duty belt. Choose a desired overlap and refer to the overlap calculation chart. Add the value obtained for the chosen overlap with the girth measurement to find the total girth measurement. For example, if the girth measurement is 36 inches and a one inch overlap is desired, we would add three inches to get a total girth measurement of 39 inches. Use the total girth measurement and reference the code using the sizing chart. For example, a total girth of 39 inches would have a code of S. Fill out the corresponding box on the bottom of the page with this size. Step 4. Front Length Measurement It is important to make this measurement in the presence of the officer. Since you may have to round this measurement to the nearest whole number, you will need to consult the officer to make the decision if they'd prefer their vest to be one inch longer or shorter. It is recommended that you round down on length. Identify the clavicle notch. Measure from the base of the clavicle notch to the top of the duty belt. Subtract one inch from this measurement. For example, if your front measurement is 16 inches, subtract 1 inch to get your front length measurement of 15 inches. Use the front length measurement obtained to reference the appropriate code in the sizing chart. A front length of 15 inches would denote an L in this example. Record this size on the sizing form. Step 5. Back Length Measurement Identify the bottom edge of the shirt collar. Measure from the bottom edge of the shirt collar to the top of the duty belt. Multiply this measurement by 0.80 or reference your back length chart on the sizing instructions to obtain this calculation. For example, with a back measurement of 19 inches, multiply 19 by 0.80 to get a back length of 15.2 inches rounded to 15 inches. Use the back length measurement obtained to reference the size in the sizing chart. For example, a back length of 15 inches would be an S in this example. Record this size on the sizing form. You have now completed your ABA male vest sizing. If you have any questions, contact our customer service at 800-347-1200.